hi welcome in this video we will see how to connect more than one pivot table and retrieve the data so this is very important uh, concept guys so make sure to watch this video till the end so you will have the better understanding so if you are first time visiting my channel please subscribe and click the bell icon whenever i publish a new video you will get the notification let's get started so for your understanding i will prepare two simple uh, data sets and we will set the relationship between the uh, two data sets to retrieve the data that is what we are going to do now so it is very important to understand your data before you create a pivot table or connection between the pivot table right so that is what i am creating very simple table uh, with id and name salary i will take so from id i will start a triple one and one one two one one Three, one one four one one five let's stop here and name i'll put something like ravi raj peter john sandhya salary i will start from 2000 and then 3000 and 4000 and then 5000 and 6000 and we will create another table with id and address this time so we should have one common column between two tables right to connect uh, more than one table so ids i will take from the same uh, uh from the same as like first table ids and the address i will put something like uh, viha chn and pun pan h y t this one i'll put v i j right so i have a two simple uh, data sets here so i am going to convert these two data sets in, uh, into a tabular format right so i can place my cursor anywhere within the first data table and then press ctrl t it will create a table click on ok see you notice that table one is created at the top right and similarly in the second table to create a second table you place your cursor anywhere within the data of table two and press ctrl t it will create a second table so now table one and table two are created so we are going to set the connection between these two tables using the pivot table so to create a pivot table you select the first uh, first table data and then go to the insert option and click on the pivot table so it will ask like uh, where you are going to create this pivot table in the new worksheet or existing worksheet so i am going to create this pivot table in the new worksheet and also you see at the bottom there is a option called add this data to the data model right we must select this option so this will set the connection between these two pivot table and we will see see one table has generated here right one template has generated this is the pivot template and here so we have a table one by default you have to click on all option you notice that all two tables we have right so here i'm going to pull id into rows name and rows and then salary as well salary i'll put it in values right and from the second table I will select address you notice that as soon as you select address from the second table right it is asking for the relationship relationship between table may be needed yeah yes it is required because so far there is no connection between these two tables right we are going to establish the connection right now you click on the create you notice that table one here we are going to select the table one and related table is table two and what is the common column between these two tables id right yeah we have selected ids and click on ok see the data has changed so this is how we have the data uh, you can verify this for uh, one example for that matter so let us see 112 scenario right 112 raj uh, ch and 3000 112 raj uh, ch and 3000 this is what we are getting the right data right so now guys you understand the uh, connecting uh, more than one pivot table with a simple example in the similar way you, you may have uh, a number of records in your data right you can you can do it uh, the same way what i explained right now 
i hope this video is useful to you guys if you feel like there is a content in this video please like uh, share and subscribe so and also click the bell icon whenever i publish a new video you will get the notification so see you in the next video